Hey, today I want to walk you through Blue To Do. There are many ways that you can treat To Do. It is a daily task, reminders, customize your To Do to fit your needs, and automates your To Do to create a seamless workflow. The default To Dos are packed with initial setup that you can start, such as To Dos title, due dates, assignees, tags, dependencies, description, checklist, and comment section. Starting with To Dos title. You can enter anything that you want to get done, then add a due date so that you can prioritize your day-to-day -day work. If you're working with a team, assign someone to the to-do so they know what to get done. Categorize your to-do by adding tags to differentiate the types of work such as growth, design, and development. Set your to-do's dependency if you want two or more tasks to rely on each other. You can set dependencies to block another task until it is complete or block this task until the other ones are completed. Add your descriptions to your to-dos, for example, meeting notes, images, or quick ideas that relate to the to-dos. Then add checklists or more. Break down your tasks into smaller pieces so that you can complete any to-dos faster than ever. You can easily communicate with your team by add mentioning them in the comment section as well. Did you know that each to-do comes with a reminder feature? Let's say you want to follow up with a certain task, you can set reminders to remind yourself to come check this task in a week or any selected date you prefer. You can also set repeating to-do for those who have weekly check-in or monthly maintenance. You can set repeating to-do so that the to-dos will automatically be created on the selected date. When it comes to customizing your to-do, you can add custom field. We have a great selection of custom fields from emails and phone numbers, adding extra dates or even formula fields to calculate the other respected fields on the to-dos. Play around with automation. This will save you a ton of time with admin works, get rid of moving to-dos to each list, and assignees manually just use automation. Here are a few examples of automation. You can create checklist items directly through automation, and when you move to do to another list, add checklist. This is like a checklist template that you can just automate without manually creating the checklist. Throughout the board, you can quickly right-click to edit the to-do. In case you want to quickly assign someone or mark something complete without opening to-do, you can right-click to edit fast and easily. We hope you enjoyed this quick overview of to-dos. Let us know what you want to see next.